Hi guys, Dave here. In the last couple of years, solar air conditioning has become the real deal. Why? Well, solar panels create DC power. These units run on DC power, and so you can simply plug the panels directly in the unit, and the unit will run for free all day long, provided it's sunny. So, does it make sense? Is it cost justified? Will it pay for itself? In your area, it may. If your area is a sunny area, if your area has high power rates, if your area has a lot of air conditioning hours per year, we're going to look at all of these things. We're going to see what your projected electrical savings is per year. Then we're going to look at what the actual cost of the unit is and so, uh, do some assigned attributes like, oh, I needed to get an air conditioner anyway. I wanted to put a little mini split in my back room anyway. Or I like the idea of having the unit run for free when I'm not here, so I don't need to turn it off, keep my pets and plants happy. When I come home, the, the, my house is still relatively comfortable, even though I didn't have my main unit on. Or I like the idea of being able to control the unit from anywhere in the world with an app. Or I like it that even if the grid goes down, I still have air conditioning because it's running off-grid solar. So we're going to look at all these things. We're going to come up with an internal rate of return, a payback period, and a net present value based on your assigned discount rate. And if you're not quite ready for all this yet, if you just have a beginning interest in solar air conditioning, subscribe to our YouTube channel here called Airspool. Go to airspool.com. For the rest of us, let's begin. Okay, to get to this tool, either go down here to this green link at go to airspool.com and go down to this green link, or go to shop.airspool.com and go to this link here. I'll give you a second while you do either of them. All right, so here we are. We're on the site. We're in the cost justification here. First thing you need to know is what is the size of your current unit. So this unit, this solar unit you're going to get is going to offset your main unit. We're going to assume for the, this analysis that you have a main unit. And let's say that the unit is three and a half tons. How do you know what the size of the unit is? There's a data plate on the outdoor unit. Usually you can find it will say what your tonnage is. All right. Or assume for this sake of analysis, it's three and a half tons. What's the sear value of your unit? If you got the unit prior to 2015, it's going to be something lower than 14 sear. We're going to assume we have a 2015 three and a half ton unit. So we're going to keep it right at 14 sear. By the way, all these little mouse overs here, you can uh, click to, uh, to learn what some of these things mean. What's your utility rate right now? So this is California, it tends to be a higher rate. I think that's actually higher than it's shown there when you look at late afternoon in California. We're here in Nevada, so I'm gonna put in Nevada's rate. And so that's around 15 cents a kilowatt hour here. But our hours of usage here in Nevada tend to be pretty high. So I'm going to keep this. I think this was calibrated for Las Vegas, 1,581 hours per year of air conditioning. So unless you're in Palm Springs or Bakersfield or somewhere like that in California, you're probably, probably uh, usage is going to be a little bit lower. And yeah, if you're in Minnesota, et cetera, solar air conditioner, you might want to... Solar heater might be a better investment than solar air conditioner, but probably hold off on this solar air conditioning stuff here for the moment. Okay, how cold do you like to keep your house in the summer? I like to keep it a little bit icy. Uh, how insulated? My house is not particularly insulated. How often are you home? I'm going to put I'm home a little bit more than average, working, working from home here much of the time. So my cost... Projected annual cooling cost before air spool is $694 a year round. Now, we're going to add an air spool unit. APS, the utility down in Arizona, did a study that found that for every degree you, you can increase your thermostat by one degree, you save 2 to 3% on your bill. So we're going to assume that we're going to average 2 and 3% to 2.5%. We're going to assume that we're by getting... This little unit where we spend most of the time, like in our home office, we're going to be able to increase the thermostat by five degrees. Why cool the whole house and have the rest of the house be 
ice sheet when we're not even in there. Increase that temperature five degrees, that's gonna save us 12.5% on our utility bill. Around what, uh, what percentage of the daylight hours to use your unit? Um, I'm gonna say here, okay, I use it 83% of the time I have my air conditioner on is during the daytime. Obviously, the more daytime hours, the more that the unit can run off of solar. This is a hybrid unit, so it will run at nighttime, 22 sear off using grid power, but the more daytime hours, the better. Do I live in a sunny area? This is calibrated already, think, for Las Vegas. So uh, we're at like 78% of the days are sunny here during the air conditioning season. So if you look at like Wilmington, it may not be that it's only sunny 47% point seven percent of the time in the fall winter and spring but it tends to have cloudy summers and that tends to be when people need the most amount of air conditioning so we took all that into account some cities you wouldn't think are very sunny like buffalo and st louis they do okay for sun in the summer all right so after air spool the after an air spool unit is call is installed Projected annual cooling cost is $472, but then it costs something to run the air spool. You know, it only costs $44 per year, but we add these two together, come up with $516. We're saving $177 per year on electrical savings. Now we're going to look at what did this unit actually cost. Cost of the unit can be found on our website. We have it in here. It's $1,450 for a standard unit. Quick and easy unit, which allows you to connect the line set, which is the toughest part of installing a mini split by hand, just by twisting it, and to collect, uh, connect the electrical just by twisting that. Everything's super quick and easy. And that's a little bit more money, but it saves you maybe more than five hours for most people. Okay, so we're gonna go with a quick and easy unit. Hardware costs, these are the costs of adding solar panels and adding the racking and the wiring from the solar panels to the unit. The quick and easy actually already comes with solar wires, so that's gonna save us a little bit of money, but we're gonna put, uh, put, put this one at $1,100. Okay, how much is the installation of the system? This air spool, quick and easy, is gonna save us a little bit of money because that's only gonna take a couple hours to install this unit, but we're going to, uh, oh, we're gonna have to pay somebody to install the, we're gonna have to pay someone to install the, oh, I see my problem. Just, by the way, don't try and drag what I was doing. Just click on the number you want. Uh, click on the $800, we're gonna have to pay somebody to install the solar panels and to install the, um, you know, help a little bit with a quick and easy. All right, so our total cost, $3,750. Some good news for you. This Inflation Reduction Act, it might not be reducing a lot of inflation, but it's gonna be saving you 30% here because air spool units are approved for Energy Star, Energy Star certification at high enough SEER value and HSPF value and EER value such that you get 30% discount on those, you get 30% on their installation, you get 30% on the installation of the solar panels, you get 30% on the solar panels. So the whole kit and caboodle, 30% off courtesy of the Inflation Reduction Act. Okay, now a discount rate, you can think of what's a dollar worth? So when would you rather have a dollar, now or a year from now? Oh, I'd rather have it now. Well, by how much? Well, if you put your money like an ally bank right now, I think you get a little bit over 4% because of the relatively high inflation we still have right now. Uh, if you have credit card debt, if you're paying 20%, pay down your credit cards. Don't get one, <laughs> please don't get one of these units until you get your credit cards and uh, manage here because that's your low hanging fruit of your um, cost justification. Uh, anything here in terms of payback periods and be highest for paying down your credit cards. With that life lesson, let's assume we like the discount rate here of 7.5%. Now, now you're gonna do the user assign attributes. Let's say that you wanted to get an air conditioner anyway, 
mini split anyway, you wanted to put it in your upstairs office and that was going to run you, was going to be um, a DIY unit, was going to cost you $1,500. So we're going to put that toward the this current unit to offset it. Okay, when you, when you leave, you like the idea that you can never have to turn down your air conditioner, keep pets and plants happy. Oh, that's worth $300. These are over the course of 10 years. What's it worth to you over the course of 10 years to never have to turn your air conditioner off? That's worth uh, $300 to me. Okay, AirSpool has an app that allows you to control the unit anywhere. Normally, what you need to do is to get an app is to install a smart thermostat and the smart thermostat may be only $100, $200, but a pain in the butt to try and do all these wires and make sure the correct thermostat wires are plugged into the back of the smart thermostat. Once you do that, normally they come with an app, but we don't have to do that here and that's included. So that's worth $200 to me. Okay, now because when there's an electrical storm or wires down or a storm where the grid is down, normally if you get whole house solar and it's net metered, your whole grid, the fact that the grid is down, even though you have solar, you're not going to be able to run because they don't want you backfeeding into the grid and possibly injuring someone who's trying to fix the grid. So your solar panels and a whole house system that's net metered are worth nothing at that point. Air spool unit can run, runs off grid. It's not grid tight at all. So you're good for this to at least keep on running, provided it's sunny. Of course, if the grid's down, you're not going to be able to run the 22C or nighttime, but you're going to be able to run anytime it's sunny during the day for free. So over the next, we'll call that one, that's worth $300 to me over the course of the next 10 years. Okay, for my home office, it was also, it's hot in the summer, it's cool in the winter, I never got enough heat in there. I want to, now all of a sudden I have a heater. Now there's not as much sun in the winter as there in the summer. The days are shorter, days tend to be cloudier in most places. So I, we didn't take into account here what your energy savings are, but still you, now you're gonna have a unit that can run at uh, 9.5 HSPF. So really between 65 degrees and 35 degrees say, that's gonna be for that, that's the wheelhouse of this solar-powered hybrid mini-split on-grid. However you're running it, it runs super efficient between those two um, degree areas. And the efficiency goes down as it gets colder. There are some heat pumps. This one will run down to 14 degrees. There are some that will now run below zero. But the efficiency, no matter what type of heat pump you have, the efficiency goes down drastically the colder it gets. But they run super efficiently, less than natural gas, burning natural gas, et cetera, in between, say, 30, 35 degrees and 65 degrees. So uh, that is worth $500 to me. Okay, well, also, now part of your house is to be run with this unit. Part of that unit is going to be run on solar. You're not going to be afflicted as much with all these rate increases. What do utilities like to do consistently? They like to increase rates consistently. So either for electrical or for natural gas, both rates have tended to go up. So that's worth $300 to me. Don't you like to stick it to the man? So I don't hate my utility that much, but if you do and you're really getting solar just because you hate utility, put, uh, put a assign value to this one. Okay, my, my main unit here is 1999, so the unit's getting pretty long in the two, so it's probably actually below the 14 sear there. But just to have a backup unit, I'm going to say that's worth $400 to me in case my main unit goes down with a bad uh, capacitor or condenser fan or, God forbid, a compressor. Okay, filters for mini splits are washable. You can pull it right out, wash it. Normally, you have to fight over who's going to get put the filters in for this month, who's taking off the, the metal grate and, and, uh, and buying the filters, etc. Here, simple to put in, take out, washable filter. That's worth $300 to me to not have to deal with buying filters every month and to be able to just wash them. 
Air spool comes with a 110, 120 volt plug instead of having to do a 220 breaker. Much simpler, easier for a lot of people. That's valuable. I'm going to say that's worth $100, $100 to me. This next one, niche one, if I have an RV, I don't. Uh, a lot of people have RVs. They drive them eight days a year. The rest of the time they're baking in the hot Nevada sun here. Things are melting. What would it be worth to you to have that nice and cool all, all summer long? And, um, and possibly have that on your unit uh, as an RV or a trailer when you go camping too and have solar, solar cooling. Worth nothing to me, I don't have one. Another niche one, if you live off grid, I don't live off grid, but I'd say probably half our customers do. And so this unit's really in their wheelhouse. Why? Because they don't need, they want more air conditioning, but they don't want to upgrade their MPPT or their battery or their inverter. So. If I have a 300 volt MPPT and I'm at 280 volts, I can't add 150 volts of air spool solar without blowing up the thing. So here I have another system to be able to run my cooling and it works out as a really nice niche for them. Okay, if you believe in this global warming, last year was the hottest year on record. If you look at from beginning of time, 800,000 years ago until 1850, the parts per million of carbon were very consistently 250 plus or minus. Now they're 423 parts per million. There's a perfect correlation of the increase in carbon and the increase of temperature here. So that to me is worth $200 over the next 10 years. The fact that I'm not going to be burning as much natural gas with this unit. Okay, this one's kind of a silly one, but if you want to brag that you're the first one on the block to have gotten a solar air conditioner, I'm not going to make that bragging. Here you can do a user assign one, and I'm going to assign here. I was going to add ductwork and add a little vent into my home office, and I don't have to do that now. This is ductless, and I like the idea of there being no ducts, and that's worth $100 to me. You can do as many optional ones as you want. So here's sort of a summary where we're at so far. Uh, before, before the Inflation Reduction Act, we had $3,750. Afterward, $2,625. So we're working to whittle away that upfront investment with all of these savings here. And per year, we're saving $177 in elect electrical savings. Plus these assigned savings we just did. All right, so that was $4,200 over 10 years of assigned savings. We're going to annualize those to be $420 per year. And so there's $567 per year that we're saving. That gives a payback period of 4.4 years. Our discount rate, 7.5%. So then with that discount rate, we can do a net present value and an internal rate return. Net present value, any value above zero is good because our discount rate, that meant it hurdled over 7.5%. Here we still have $1,474 of profit in effect by getting this unit. And we also are getting 18.6% above our 75 percent internal rate of return. Also very favorable. So if this, if you, if you did this analysis, if yours looked anything like that, hop over right away to shop.airspool.com and get one of these units and get in touch with any questions you might have. And if you want to know how these calculations were made, more about the analysis, go to our blog at this link here. Thanks for your time.